So I want to take a look at this. Uh, this is the water pump that I removed from the Nissan. And uh, definitely uh, was leaking. You, you can see uh, these are the screws that I used to jack the water pump out of the, the block. And the reason you need to do that um, is uh, these two O-rings here. The red one here, that seals the oil, crankcase oil. And the, the black one here behind, behind it, that seals the, the, uh, the uh, antifreeze or the coolant. And you can see there's places you can see where the, uh, the seal's been breached, there's been flow. And these holes here, these are weep holes to allow whatever leaks, any uh, fluid. If it leaks out, it will come out the weep hole and not get into the oil. But there's also, um, you can see back here, there's a seal that's uh, coming apart. It's very hard to notice maybe, but um, it's definitely this seal on the back here has failed. Let's see if I can get a probe and, and get that out of there. So taking a closer look at this water pump here, you can see the seal has failed back here. And you can see there's parts of it uh, coming off. And this was allowing the coolant to leak through the, through the seal and the weep hole. And so that was the reason for changing the water pump. So um, the water pump is held into the block with three screws here and uh, these are 10 millimeter drives. I don't have the bolts because they're being used on the new one. But also you might notice uh, these two holes here, the opposing holes, they're threaded for these bolts here. And uh, these bolts are some that I had to provide and they're used to jack the water pump out. And these are 13 millimeters by um, 40. And uh, what you do is you take out all three of the bolts here one, and then you uh, slacken the timing chain. And basically the timing chain just engages right along in here. This part here. So when you, uh, when you slack the timing chain by uh, turning the engine backwards about 20 degrees, you can actually see the chain come off or become disengaged from these teeth here. And it will actually come up and just clear this, this round edge here. And so you can remove the, the three bolts and you just want to be careful to not drop them down into the motor. I used a magnet to catch them. And so then you, um, you thread in these bolts. And these bolts actually just thread in and push into the, against the, the outside surface of the, uh, of the block. And what you do is just tighten them evenly maybe a half a turn each one and you'll see this uh, water pump come on out and once you once you get it a little loose you'll see um, that you can just grab it by these bolts and wiggle it out and pull it but um, the other thing to notice is uh, these diameters are different this uh, the diameter here the outside diameter of the seal for the water pump is smaller than this seal here for the oil and let's see if I can measure that. I'm not sure my calipers work for that. This tapered, that's about uh, 71.5 and this larger diameter here. Um, that's about 78.5. So, so it's hard to get a good measurement on it because these uh, don't really span it correctly. But that's a look at the water pump for the Nissan. It's um, a little hard to get to since it's driven by the timing chain, but um, kind of a pain in the butt. But uh, the reason this one failed is the seal back here. It just uh, let go.